I would like to thank David for organizing this event. So I think it's been amazing and all your presentation, it's, um, it's been a pleasure just to know everything and to, and to get that knowledge. So, well, my name is uh, Javier Martin. I'm working at, uh, at TechEdge. And uh, I'm gonna show you today uh, the SCP workflow services. We are gonna show it uh, through an example because I think it's, uh, it's just better. We are gonna combine it with uh, other services uh, on SCP, for example, business rules and blockchain services. And we have developed just an example apps uh, in top of Mendix platform just to to show you this, everything, okay? So, um, the topic today, for example, the sample I'm gonna use is the used car market, and this is just a question for you. Do you think it's a used car, second hard uh, car market is uh, trustworthy? Do you think it's trustworthy or, or not? Because for me, I had an experience several years ago when I first uh, bought my first car, and it was a second hand one. And after three months, you know, the dealers uh, offers uh, maybe six months warranty or, or something like that. But um, at, um, I guess it was uh, three months or something like that, the car stopped working. So I, I went to the dealer where I bought the car and he told me that uh, he's, he was um, going to repair it. So I had to to went to trail and so on. I won and they, they had to fix it. But, uh, well, you know, I think it's not a really trustable thing right now, okay? So, according to Motor Trader, for the people, the most important purchase consideration when buying a second-hand car, it's, uh, first one is safety, okay? Second one is car's condition. Third one is the trust in the dealer. And the, the fourth one is the, is the price. So the price right now is not really important, it seems. So the problem we have here is uh, how can we increase the trust in, in car dealers, right? So the solution we are gonna give it today, uh, well, this is, not a, this is just an example, okay? This is not a real app or, or something, but this is just an example just to show you how we can combine several services on FCP. So we are gonna do a SCP service mass app. So first of all, of course, it's gonna be a, a workflow there where we are going to manage uh, some task, okay? There will be a, uh, as well the business rule and we are going to manage uh, who is gonna be the, the approvers and the groups that are gonna be in charge of, uh, of well, of doing the task uh, inside the workflow. And all the data is going to be stored in a blockchain network leveraged by Hyperledger Fabric Service on, on Cloud Foundry, right? And on top of that, uh, we just developed a simple app just to show you how everything is, is going on on Mendix. Do you know Mendix? Do you know the service I am I'm just talking about? I don't know if... Um, all of them or not. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go deep into Mendix because the, there is going to be another session after me. So I'm not going to go deep with Hyperledger Fabric because maybe we can stay a whole, the entire day. <laughs> but well, I'm just uh, going to talk about the business rules and workflow, but in the live demo, I'm going to show you all the services working. So for example, on Mendix, uh, I've just created a, well, it's a simple app where we are gonna add a car, okay? With pictures and uh, car's gear, model, kilometers, and so on. So this is, um, the thing I have just uh, thought about is, for example, thinking about dealers. Uh, I think when they buy a car or they want to, to sell a car to, to other people, for example, they have, um, I just uh, created three departments. Uh, for example, the legal department to check the paperwork that are okay in the car, the, the motor ones, if the engine is working okay, if the kilometers match the kilometers the, the seller says, or maybe the paintwork if there is some scratches in the, in the car just to fix it. This is gonna be a workflow that is gonna be customized by a business rule. So depending, for example, on cars uh, make, cars age and kilometers, we can distribute if all of these departments has to check the car or not. 
I mean, for example, if the car is uh, really new, it's uh, about uh, six months or something like that, or it's under 1,000 kilometers, maybe it's not necessary to check with the legal department because the, the car is, uh, has been with only one owner or whatever. I mean, this is just uh, an example, and, and I just want to, to show you it. So first of all, this workflow is going to call the business rule service. So the, um, um, the first step is going to be to determine what is going to be the, the user's uh, step, all right? If, if, the, if this workflow is going to be approved or, or, or done by the paintwork team, motor team, or the legal team, OK? So we are going to customize it through business rules. Okay, we are gonna, all of these uh, tasks that you are seeing right now, that legal department, motor, or paint work, are, um, uh, they are user tasks, so they have to complete something or fill out some forms. We are gonna customize forms, is one of the capabilities of the workflow service, so you can create forms from your context uh, so quickly, so you can create your, your UI so quickly, okay? And with uh, business rules, as I said before, we are going to customize the way it's going to behave this workflow. For example, as I say, if the make, we are adding the car is Audi, and the um, car's age is uh, greater than, than 2015, and kilometers between that. So it has to follow the three steps, or maybe we can, we can customize another one just with different steps. It's just about showing you this case. And all of this data is going to be tracked in a, in a blockchain network, leveraged by Hyperledger Fabric. And, and, well, for today this is just an example, but just think about maybe if there is a network of dealers that can share all these cars' data, and all this data is, is, uh, is inside a blockchain. Because maybe if they have all, all of these cars inside a blockchain, maybe they are not, um, they are maybe Mm, their way to sell cars is more fair than, than it's right now, okay? And of course we can search cars and so on and see all the, all the details. So I'm going, to, I'm going to show you this on the SCP platform, all right? So first of all, I, I want to show you the, the workflow. I don't know if you can see it well or not. Do you know this editor or? Is new for you. This is inside the Subweek ID full stack. Okay, so if you want to activate the workflow editor, you have to go to preference features and just activate it here. All right. Of course, you have to activate the service in your setting marketplace because it no, <laughs> this is not going to be possible. And um, talking about workflow, if uh, you have developed any workflow in ABAP system. You know, sometimes it's uh, like a pain in the ass, you know? It's not really easy. And, um, well, it's not, um, I don't know, it's not really easy to understand for somebody new to, to it. But in this case, on SCP platform, this is really, it's so easy. You can develop a workflow in, in minutes. For example, these uh, are all the elements uh, we have here to, to develop our workflow. We have events, so we have the start event of the workflow. In this case, it will be when uh, we add a new car from our application. There are intermediate messages that uh, we can wait for message, uh, so the workflow have it uh, waiting until the, the message comes. Intermediate timers, just uh, if we want several tasks to, to wait uh, a little bit or not. We have our end event, of course, so we can we can finish our, our workflow instance. And we have terminate events as well when we have uh, parallel, parallel branches uh, running, all right? So if we just want to, to finish one of them. Regarding task, we have here user, st user task, of course. And here we can develop uh, UI5 uh, screens just to show the data and to let the, the people who is going to approve or, or, or do the task uh, do it. We can develop as well forms that I will show you is uh, so easy, and we can develop that form in minutes. And the form will end in a sub UI5 screen as well, but it's going to be just adding fields in, in a short time. We have service tasks as well. 
and this is about uh, you can you can call for example a data service bill on top of uh, of SCP or uh, or data service in in an on-premise system you can call any race api and whatever you think is possible is you can do it here you can call whatever you say is just you need if there is an uh, rest api you can you can do it for example we are going to use a service task to call the business rule services and to call again the blockchain services to to save our data there are another kind of task that are the script task and this is just about if, for example, we have our context here in, this, in, in the workflow services that um, the whole context is built on JSON, okay? So there is no other element. This is just a, a JSON object that you can change in runtime or whatever. And for example, a script, a script task is just about to convert the data that you are going to send, for example, to the business rule services maybe if you the, the names are not uh, equal and so on you have to map all the values to the to the new service to just to call it to request okay and of course we have a mail task as well and but uh, you here you need to define a SNTP server okay just to send so to send it mails and we have uh, gateways as well. We have exclusive gateway, so we can, for example, is the one I just developed here, and it's gonna, for example, to split in several branches uh, depending on the of the values of the of the workflow, and there are parallel web gateway as well if uh, we want to run several branches on parallel. That is not mean it's gonna speed up the workflow. This is just gonna be parallel task. All right. So for example, as I told you, um, a script task looks like that, okay? We have here a JavaScript file, so we can develop here whatever we want. Here we are just uh, getting the, the data from the, from the context and just mapping that data to the, to the one that is gonna be sent in the, in the business rule service uh, request. This is, that's all. And for example, this, uh, regarding service uh, request, if you want to call, um, business rule services or, or blockchain, you have to, to have your destination in, inside your, your account, okay? But if you activate the business rule services, you are gonna have it automatically. So there's no problem in that. But for example, for blockchain, it's uh, slightly different because you have to, to create two destinations just to authenticate uh, you in the Cloud Foundry environment with your, with your client ID, client secret, with your OAuth uh, authentication. And after that, you can call the, the API so you can create uh, or, um, I don't know, execute any, any operation within your chain code in the, in the blockchain. So regarding business rules, I don't know, have you ever worked with uh, BRF Plus on on ABAP system, yeah. So this is uh, <laughs> well. There is not too much people <laughs> working with VRF Plus. Uh, well, if you know VRF Plus, as um, this is a way where, where we can define and develop uh, business rules. Okay, we can have uh, the th decision trees, decision tables, and we can get we can have formulas with our data. And uh, well, the service in, on SCP platform, it's uh, quite the same, but well, it's uh, still evolving and not the whole functionality inside the BRF Plus is uh, it's here, at least I know. <laughs> I don't know if they are evolving more than, than this. And I think, for example, in the BRF Plus system, you can, you can have nested rules inside. The, for example, you can call a decision tree inside a decision tree. You can you cannot do it right now here in the SCP platform, but I think they are working on that and they will have it soon. So you have to do it uh, nesting nesting calls to the business rule service or or whatever. So here, for example, we have our input. It's uh, it's going to be the um, the cars attributes. Okay. So for example, we have the cars make, the cars um, registration date or car age or whatever you you call it, kilometers of the car. And depending of uh, of these uh, of these parameters, we can you know we can we can create the steps that the workflow is uh, is gonna have. 
just think about if uh, I come back to the workflow, if you, sorry. For example, if uh, you want the, that the workflow behaves um, differently, for example, depending on the kilometers of the car, you will have to do it some work here, some work here, and whatever. So it's not really cool to, to have it hard coded there, right? So maybe we can create just a rule where we can define everything. And uh, inside the UI5 development, you have a component that uh, you can present this to the user, so maybe a, a final user can, can do this, this customization, okay? So for example, in the, in the first example, we have if it's an Audi car uh, and the age is uh, it's greater than, than 2015 and the kilometers is between uh, 10,000 and 30,000. So if we, are, if we are in the initial stage, that is going to be the stage at the first moment. So the next step is going to be the legal department. Okay, so we'll be, we'll be here. And the approver of that task or the people who has to do this task is going to be the Audi legal team. Okay, this is just a group creating in SCP platform. I've assigned my user to, to it so I can test because this is a trial version. And uh, all of this is, is the same. If we are in the legal department, we will f go through the paintwork department. And if we are in the paintwork, we will through the motor department. And if the motor department is finished, then the workflow will end. Okay? And for example, just for the, um, for the screens inside the, the different uh, user task, we have created um, some forms. Okay? You have here you have the possibility to choose between, sorry. Between a sub UI5 component or a, or a form. Okay, so if you want to map a sub UI5 screen or application, you can just uh, tell here that which application you want to have, and you will have to develop in, inside your sub UI5 application. You, you will have to, to call the REST API about the workflow, okay? Just to create the, the instance or get the, the, the context of the instance, just the approve buttons will, th will throw the approval steps inside the workflow, but you have to develop it, okay? But um, if we select the forms, okay, we can just create a form inside our workflow. Our form will be, um, well, really simple. We will have the data coming from the context Okay, so we can present it to the to the user. Uh, you have the, the option to to have the, the data editable, display only, uh, mandatory or not, whatever. Okay, so it's as easy as just uh, you say uh, add a field and you have it, right? You have to map it to the to the um, workflow context attribute you want you want it to be to be filled out. And well, well, this is the time to show you all of this stuff uh, running, okay? So I'm gonna have here um, uh, this screen just to check with you that uh, the data we are entering is following the path that we have just customized, okay? So for example, we are gonna, this is amend this app, we have just created, this is so simple, uh, so there is not too much to say here. So we can select the Audi make, the model we say Q5, all right. So we're gonna say it's 2018 and it's at 20,000 kilometers, all right. And we have here the plane number, and we are gonna say this one, and black color, okay. We're gonna add some mates we have here. And as I've said before, Mm, for example, just uh, thinking to about Audi, it's uh, 2018 and 20,000 kilometers. So the steps they are gonna follow, it's, uh, they are gonna, at the first moment, it's gonna reach the legal department. After that, it's gonna, it's gonna reach the paintwork department and motor department, okay? And in each of those steps, the data that the legal department is gonna record in the system is gonna be stored in the blockchain. So we are going to save the car, 
okay? We can check, this is the, the Hyperledger Fabric dashboard, okay, where we, we can check our, our blocks inside our blockchain. And the last one, we can check that uh, is storing our, our data, all right? So the key in this case is our plane number, and all of the data of the car is, is right there. So we can go to our Fiori Launchpad, all right? So when, when we activate the workflow services, we will have a specific workflow catalog just uh, so if we can add it to our Launchpad. And it has three applications. It's workflow definitions, workflow instance, and of course my inbox, where you can, you can get your task and execute it. But uh, this is really cool, the monitor definitions and workflow instance, just to check how the workflow is going. All right? you, can, you can create your workflow just, uh, you can create an instance from here. For example, if I'm going to definitions, this is the demo for today, and I can create an, an instance. For example, if I, if I select this data, just put it in here, and I can test my workflow just doing this. So it's so easy. And coming back to the demo, I have uh, my task here. So the legal department has to check uh, this Audi car, OK? So this is just one question about if the legal paperwork is OK or not, OK? So we select that it's fine. So after that, you know, the data will come into the blockchain. As you can see, there is a new block right here with the new information. And if uh, we are going to our, to our app, we can check this car and select the details, and we are going to see the car's history. This is uh, what I said before, that maybe with this kind of things, um, if everybody or every seller share what uh, they have done with the cars, maybe it's better for warranties and so on. But as I said before, this is just an example, and, and that's all, OK? So after legal department has done his, uh, his job, there will be another task. Then it's ready here to check. So it's the paint work team. Uh, well, there is uh, one question if all the scratches are fixed in the car. So we're going to say everything's fine. We are going to complete our task in the workflow. And deal, this workflow will go again to the blockchain. We will have it a, a new block here. And of course, the workflow is going to be in the motor, in the motor step. Okay, so we are going to check our inbox again. As I said before, every single group is assigned to my user. So, um, well, this is just for testing purpose. Okay. And for the motor one, is uh, just if the kilometers match with the kilometers that the, the seller of the car was uh, was telling to the to the dealer. Okay. So in this case, we don't select it because we don't want the, we think there is a kilometers mismatch. And well, the workflow, as I showed you before, is, uh, is done, OK? Because uh, it has completed the three steps. In our, in our business rule, we have defined that is, if the last step is, uh, is reached, so then we can, we can finish the workflow. There is no approval. There is no other steps. And we are going to see here that in the details, the data is coming automatically. We are querying the blockchain and getting all this information here. And this is coming just from, from the blockchain. So this is just an example where you can see several services on, on SCP combined. And you know, this is uh, up to your mind. You can create uh, whatever you think it is. It's not so difficult. It's just, uh, you know, you have to work on it. But uh, really, workflow services, it's, uh, it's really cool and really easy to, to understand and to work with, OK? So any questions? No? OK, this is my contact details if you want to reach me. And thank you very much for your time and for attending this event. Fifteen minutes break.